Okay, so I'm back with another Raiders breakdown. Listen, I, I, I didn't make a Raiders breakdown for a minute, uh, but, you know, hey, th a, for whatever reason, a large part of the fan base on these videos are Raiders fans. Raiders videos tend to do very well. Uh, you guys tend to enjoy Raiders videos, so I'll give you as much as I can. Although, again, I, I'm starting to run to well dry to some degree, making my third offensive lineman Raiders video at this point. Uh, but, you know, I think it's fun. So, uh, and also, Rodney Hudson, he's certainly worthy of a video in his own right. So, it kind of just works out this way pretty well, I think. So, let's just jump into it. The way this play is going to work is that uh, him and the left, uh, excuse me, right guard are going to be double teaming an interior lineman. Then the guard moves up to block a linebacker. And so, therefore, Hudson is in charge of just uh, blocking the interior lineman by himself. Uh, and really what I like about uh, Hudson is his strength and how strong he is. Again, he's the center. And watch how, you know, he's going to start this block. And, okay, so he gets a little help with the double team, but not a ton. I mean, the double team did help him uh, move that interior alignment a little bit closer to the middle. But, again, there is no clear way if you're uh, a, a, a center to really say, okay, this is a great situation. I mean, Jacobs is trying to get around you, but you don't have a, an angle. You pretty much just have to try and push. But what can you really do? There's not too much you can do. Because if you try and step over too far to the right side of the screen to make this block and get a better angle, well, you'll probably still get pushed over a little bit more, and that'll completely disrupt this play. Jacobs doesn't have that much room to run around you. But obviously, you can't just twist and push your assigned man to the right side of the screen, because then you're just pushing him right into Jacobs. So you're going to have to try and find a way to push uh, your assigned man further away, or at least keep him where he's at, while at the same time, not moving yourself too much over. Again, you have a little bit of room for uh, error, but not much. However, watch how he's able to do this, and watch how he's able to push him enough. Just the entire time, he's just pushing him back to where at no point was there contact on Jacobs. I mean, that's a difficult block to make. That's a near impossible block to make, in fact. But he was able to make those, and he can make some blocks that make you just say, I never thought he would be able to do something like that. Or anyone would be able to do something like that. He's he's definitely one of the premier centers in the league, in my opinion. And while his strength is great, and it really obviously is a factor in the running game, where Hudson really shines is in the passing game. As a passing blocking center, uh, which is, again, I will easily admit that obviously as a center, uh, pass blocking is it's the least important offensive line position, no doubt about it. But also, his numbers speak for themselves. When he came to the Raiders, which was, he's played four seasons now with the Raiders. Uh, he's had over a, th a thousand snaps in all of them, but his last season, which he still had over 900 snaps. So he's had over 4,000 snaps in four years with uh, Oakland, and now soon to be Vegas. He gave up one sack in four years. I mean, that's just crazy. I don't care if he's a center. That's insane, um, and this is how he's able to do it. It's not just with him being part of double teams. Like, on this play, uh, he's going up one-on-one. -on -one. This is the one-on-one -on -one matchup. He's not getting help on this play. So, you know, this is kind of the equivalent of a guard blocking as opposed to, uh, a, you know, a center, typically, because it's kind of essentially the same thing. But watch what he's going to do. Where Right when this ball is snapped, watch how he's going to get his right arm and just sort of grab on to that shoulder pad area right there. He has the shoulder pad, which... It should be mentioned, it's not holding if you're holding on to him, but you're not actually pulling in any way. If you have the shoulder pad, that's totally fine and legal. The difference is that if he, you know, gets past you and you still hold on, which causes, you know, a pulling motion, that's when it becomes a penalty. There's no pulling here. He's just grabbing on. So, you know, again, he's a veteran. He knows the rules of the game and he knows how to do it well. At this point, if you're a defender, there's not too much you can do other than just try to overpower Hudson. But as we've talked about before, he's not an easy guy to overpower. That's what he tries to do, but there is really no pressure whatsoever. And even when he's going up against one-on-one -on -one matchups, he can do fine. He can hold his own. So he's not one of those centers that doesn't give up much pressures or much sacks because he's, you know, uh, always double-teaming somebody. That's not the case. I mean, he will get one-on-one -on -one matchups relatively consistently and he can hold on he can definitely hold his own and then some so much so in fact you'll even see them uh often instead of having the center be the guy who is in zone who's you know just supposed to block whoever they'll put a guard in that and they'll have a center give take the one-on-one -on -one matchup like on this play that's what's happening they could just as easily have their right guard be blocking that indianapolis player and hudson just play zone that's not what they're doing right here and for a good reason watch how again 
one thing I want you to really take a look at is that, you know, it's difficult for her, someone like Hudson to get great hand placement as the center because you have to snap the ball and then get your hands up. And right when you snap the ball, the defender can already start moving and, you know, put his hands on you. So uh, it makes things a lot more difficult. And that's why it's often, you know, that's why you will typically see teams not have their center be someone who is uh, getting those one-on-one -on -one matchups because you are at a natural disadvantage. But watch how he goes from snapping the ball to getting the hand placement he wants so quickly. I mean, again, it's just that quick speed of his hands. You can barely even see them move how quickly he's able to do that and how it's just so automatic for him. And again, this is very similar to the hand placement he had on the play I showed you last time. But what I love about this play even more is he's not just going to not allow pressure, not allow himself to get moved back. He's then going to push that Indianapolis player further back in his own right. Part of it was the uh, the Colts player said, I'm not going to overpower you. Let's see if I can get around. But uh, either way, I mean, just talk about getting stopped in your tracks. Uh, again, this guy, he has a strength where he could play anywhere on the offensive line. And so to have that as a center, I mean, it's just... It's really impressive, and it's really important, I think. Um, also, even when he doesn't necessarily have a one-on-one -on -one matchup of his own, that doesn't mean that he's getting wasted, like on this play. So, uh, you know, this is your typical offensive uh, line lineup where you have your, you know, both your tackles and your guards all have someone to block straight up. And then the center, he just finds somebody to hit, basically. So that's why typically interior defensive linemen, one of the two is always getting double teamed because typically they each have a guard on them. And then, uh, you know, the center will choose which one to block. And so for Hudson, the guy he's keeping his eye on is actually going to be the interior lineman on the right side of the screen, which is to his left. Uh, but watch how right when the ball is snapped, he does that. But he, you know, he's keeping his focus on him. But also, 92, the Chargers who is right in front of him, he's definitely winning his own one-on-one -on -one matchup a lot more than uh, the Charger that Hudson was initially looking at. But Hudson doesn't want to completely run over and give up on the other side of the screen to block 92 because he still thinks that there's a real chance that pressure could come from that side. So watch how he just for a second pushes 92 a little bit over, but then keeps his eye on the player who he was initially looking at. So he's basically doing two jobs at once right here, and he's essentially helping both guards out, and it's almost like you have a virtual double-double team with Hudson right there, and it's so hard to get pressure up the middle with someone like Hudson, which, listen, that matters a lot, when, uh, especially when you're in a division with Chris Jones, who is one of the best at getting pressure up the middle. So, uh, again, it's those little things like that. He's a veteran player and just a really good one. And I think the way he does double teams uh, in a run-blocking situation is also very good. He doesn't necessarily have to be the guy who, I mean, like look at this play, for example. It's a double team. The guard moves up to block a linebacker. So, you know, I mean, this is the easy play for him, right? He's just blocking a defensive lineman straight up, uh, you know, essentially. He gets a double team, so it makes it even easier. Uh, but not necessarily, largely because this double team isn't necessarily some crazy double team. I mean, it's good. You know, he knocks the defensive lineman over. That's what you're supposed to do. But he had to move up very quickly because of the linebacker, 49, did a very good job of crashing in right here. So, uh, again, uh, not a bad block by any means, but just a good play by a Chargers player. Uh, and so now Hudson, he's in kind of a bit of a pickle right here because, again, it's very similar where he has to try and push that Chargers player out of the way to clear a lane for his halfback, but he doesn't want to, you know, move too far over. And also he can't allow himself to get moved that far over because there's not much space right here. The, the gap is already small and it's getting smaller. But again, watch how he's able to just get enough to allow his back to run through, uh, which was, you know, Josh Jacobs, of course. And that's just what Again, that's such a difficult block to make, but it's so important. Just keeping that window open just long enough for his back to get through. And I certainly think that, you know, uh, I don't know how much yards he added to Jacobs' runs, but he certainly helped a lot. I mean, I think that Josh Jacobs definitely owes a thank you to Hudson for some of the, the blocks he was doing. And by the way, Hudson's not necessarily known as a uh, run blocker. I think he's actually underrated as a run blocker. Everyone talks about him as a pass blocker, but 
I think he's a really good run blocker as well. And I think he's underrated in that aspect. Um, this plays another example where it's going to be a, a double team, but this time it's going to be Hudson moving up to block a linebacker. So this is, you know, this is him doing the important part of the job. This is him doing the harder part of the job, typically, uh, you know, not always, but typically. And uh, what's going to happen is that right uh, when he snaps the ball, you notice how quickly he gets up to the linebacker. He's so quickly, you know, finishes off the double team, doesn't, doesn't you know, go crazy, but he gets him out of the way. Uh, and then also he's able to run over and get in position to block a linebacker who, as we know, likes to crash in very quickly. And he did crash in very quickly, but because Hudson got that quick uh, first step, he's able to clear him out of the way, which allows Jacobs to run into the end zone. And this was the game-winning touchdown of that game. So just a good play by Hudson and, of course, by the entire Raiders on that one. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always like to give, you know, some of the offensive linemen some love. Uh, especially when it's a center. I mean, no one talks about centers, but I think they're actually a really fun position to talk about from time to time. Um, and, you know, uh, I think I just think it's fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do you guys think of Rodney Hudson? Um, probably it's all going to be pretty similar. He's, he's a beast. I think we all know it. Uh, but let me know anyways. Uh, and, of course, as always, thanks for watching.